It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day, and it's groundbreaking in University Heights. I've got with me the Three Stooges over here, Manny, Mo, and Jack. Um, what we're doing for Gigi, this client is so cute, and she is very colorful. So this is going to be a really fun job. She's got all kinds of tchotchkes and things for me to repurpose in the garden. This is going to be reminiscent of a whimsical backyard. But we've got some challenges. Down here, we've got the dreaded nut grass. Any of you that are familiar with nut grass know that this stuff grows on literally like a nut. And if you don't get the nut, it just comes right back. Oh, there's a nut. And it's sharp too, look at that, can you see that? That little nut right there and that pointy end. Ugh, this stuff is the bane of my existence. So we are gonna spend quite a bit of time tilling and raking and getting as much of it as we possibly can. In addition to that, we're going to be applying weed fabric in any gappy areas because this stuff is insidious. It will make a resurgence. See here, the minute water touches it, boom. It's like a bad case of acne. It's the worst. Um, Gigi's got some vegetables growing here that we're gonna keep. Um, a lot of these succulents are going to be repurposed. You can see we've boxed up some kiwis. These are for her garden club for their plant sale. She wants to keep this vine. Um, this wonderful purple flagstone is going to be repurposed into a meandering pathway through this garden installation. And shoot, what more can I tell you? I guess I can show you around a little bit. She wants to keep this side like it is. So there's a pittosporum. I think this, this is silver sheen. So this guy's staying. She's got some fruit trees and uh, a stick on fire over there. Uh, that, that's all staying. She um, wanted to leave this area as is, but I was so inspired by the basalt fountain that I said I would throw it in for free. So we're gonna rake all the wood chips up out of here and I am going to do something fabulous. We are going to have to bring the materials in one wheelbarrow at a time, though. We're landlocked. There's an alley back here that's very narrow, um, a, a street out front, and a, and a long walk path. So it's going to take some time. We can't really do any bulk deliveries on this job. So that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. It's Laura Eubanks with Team DFS and groundbreaking in University Heights day one and your succulent tip of the day.